Alright, so I'm a little late to the party here, but today we're going to be taking a look at the new reworked DJ. Now, if I'm being totally honest, I've been thinking about not doing this video at all since, you know, there's already like 10 billion other videos on this tower. But for some reason, you guys really want me to check this tower out anyway, so you know what? Screw it. We're just going to hop into a match and uh, we're going to see the whole reason behind all this hype behind this new rebalanced tower. So, uh, yeah, let's get right into it. Oh, what in the new as hell GUI? Okay, I don't, I don't know what the hell this is. Uh, wait, wh what the frick is this? What is any of this? Okay, this is this. I, this is real. Why? Why does the grave digger look weird? Okay, you know I don't know. I don't. What have I done? What have I done? Okay, I, I'm just gonna go that. Okay, there we go. All right, first impressions. It seems to have freaking doubled in price. I think because it was like six hundred dollars before. Now it's twelve hundred. Also, I think it has slightly less range. Does it? I, I feel like it, its range was a lot bigger. Okay, maybe I'm just going crazy. Maybe the range is smaller. I don't know. I'm going crazy. Uh, I'm just gonna farm a little bit and then uh, uh I'll get money and then uh, upgrade. Yeah. All right. I'd say I'm pretty rich now, so I think we can start affording some of the uh, the uh, lower levels of the DJ here. Okay, so we're gonna place him down, and ooh, he's got like a like a circley thing. So, uh, wah uh, huh? Wait, wait, wait! What in the world is this track? Purple track buff. Passive applies a range buff to nearby towers. A bit active push. What? What the freak? Passive applies a discount. Oh wait! Oh my God! Wait, that's okay. Okay, this is a very, this is a very interesting uh we work here. Apparently now, yeah, you can select between buffs between the D with the DJ track stuff now. Okay, I see. So we can go from uh, range to freaking discount. What? Oh, it's like, it's a 5% discount at level 0. Okay, that's interesting. Alright, level 1 is not really special, it just gives 3 range. Okay, very nice. Uh, what is this, level 2? Okay, so purple track range goes from 12.5 to 15, and the, the discount goes to 7.5, I see. And it unlocks the red track, which provides towers in range with a 10% damage buff. What the hell? Oh my god! Why is DJ so busted? Oh dear god! Oh, oh, right, it doesn't buff the sentries. Oh, okay, well, that, that, oh, well, that is still absolutely insane, though. Okay, that's very nice. What the hell? Why can the DJ now deal damage on level two? What? How does that make any sense? Okay, so it apparently does 15 damage now. Unlock, drop the, oh my Christ, why is that the longest hell ability? I'm just gonna purchase, and I can't read it. Oh. Why did I? I no, I can't read. The okay, you know what? Maybe I should just click it and see what happens. You know, I, I probably should have read the ability thing before I clicked the upgrade. I thought it let me uh, allow me to preview it, but apparently not. Which that's very sad. I'm just gonna click it and see what happens. Oh, what the hell? Well, it's making like weird sound wave things. Wait, what, what? Is that? Is that it? It, it just deals damage. Okay, that's that's kind of lame. They're literally making all the support towers becoming offense towers. What is this? Okay, next upgrade gives the DJ more range, more freaking damage for whatever reason, and it buffs. It seems to buff all the tracks again. I wonder if each track does something different. Cause I mean, the red one did like a, little, a weird little shockwave thing. What, what would the green? Does the green one just do the same thing? What? Wait, what? What the hell was that? What did it just do? What? Did it increase the discount? Or am I stupid? Wait, I think I'm actually dying. I should probably uh, upgrade these idiots. Okay, wait. I didn't actually see what happened with the green one. Does it just make the discount greater? Oh, wait, what? It gave... I think it gave me money? What? How much money did it give me? I think it gave me like two cents or something. I don't know. Oh, wait, I'm stupid. That's that's what that means. Okay, passive is just the, the, the passive buff thing. And active is what the ability does. So... So the purple ability pushes and slows enemies in range of the DJ. Okay, I see. And green, it, uh, you earn a cash payout that scales with the number of towers in range. Ooh, that's actually kind of interesting. Okay. And then the red one, uh, what does it do? Deal damage and apply defense melt to enemies in range. What the hell? Also, what in the world is this? Why Why is the max level 20,000? Okay, wow, okay. Okay, what does it do? It gives more range, more damage, uh, buffs all the tracks, and also, what the, it unlocks Trinity buffs. That, okay, what, is, what does this do? All tracks now apply... All passive buffs, buffs that are not originally from the selected track will now reduce effect. Oh, I see. Oh, that's neat. So it just, it has all the buffs. It's just weaker. Okay, I mean, that's pretty cool. Oh, look at that. So now we have discount, damage, and range. Ooh. Ooh, I really like this. Oh, wait, the overall discount thing is less, though. I'm pretty sure, like, at max level, the DJ used to be able to uh, do, like, a 20% discount, but now it's only 15%. I mean, 
it's not that bad, but you know, that's a little sad. All right, I kind of want to see what this knockback thing does, so I'm just gonna click it, and okay, it literally just knocks the, the, the dudes back. Okay, that's very, this might, that might actually be the most useful one. All right, so far, I'm really liking this new DJ buff, or DJ, I mean, do you want to call it, I mean, it, it, it's basically a buff. Like, the DJ can now freaking do damage, it knocks towers back, it gives you free freaking money. I mean, yeah, sure, it does kind of nerf, like, the, uh, the discount a little bit, but I mean, who really freaking cares? The, the, the DJ can give a damage buff now. That is absolutely amazing. Okay, wait, I have a pretty big brain idea. What if I activate the purple ability? And then I switch the track to the red buff. So, like, it, it does the knockback thing, but it also gives the damage buff. Is that even a thing you can do? Does this even let you switch mid ability? Oh, crap, wait, the moment boss is already here. Uh, that might actually be a problem. Actually, wait. Does, does the purple ability work on this guy? I don't, I don't know if it does. Okay, well, I'm just gonna... So, if I activate the ability, can I, I can switch tracks during the ability. Okay, that is crazy. Okay, apparently the pulse thing doesn't work on the, the bone boss though, which is very sad. Oh my god, and he's dead. Okay, well. Alright, so all in all, I really like this new DJ buff, rebalance, whatever the hell you want to call it. You can literally increase the freaking damage of your towers now and freaking knock back a ton of enemies and whatever the hell. But uh, yeah, that's the end of the video.